Hey guys, so we got today, we got some red jasper. Red jasper. And I have some representations here I'll go through. Um, always selling red jasper, it seems. It's just something I always have in my original personal collection. Um, stuff that I sell in my shop. Um, tons of natural red jasper, which is my favorite form. Beautiful polished spheres, as you can see here. Uh, we got towers. We got some polished uh, stones. And red jasper is, if you're thinking red jasper and you're thinking red, you're thinking root chakra. And that's what it's all about. Um, working with this stone, it's going to help you clear and energize that root chakra and ground all that energy into the earth. This is a famous earth stone. This is, they used to refer to this, the indigenous people used to refer to this as the blood of the earth. And you could see why. Imagine digging this up and encountering all this coming out of the ground. Now this is actually has a little yellow jasper in it too, little veins of it, primarily red, but you can see why they would refer to this as the um, the blood of the earth because it would look like you're extracting actual blood. So this is definitely a very sacred stone. Like I said, indigenous people way back use this for, for many things. And this connects you deeply with the vibrations of the earth. Deeply. And an awesome stone. It's a gentle stone. Again, it's not going to be super high by vibrational and knock your socks off, but also a good stone. This is a good one where I would advise if you wear it as jewelry or sleep with it, meditate with it. But sleeping is an easy way to get its energies because you're just going to soak them in and especially to the root chakra. It's all about the root chakra. So it definitely, we know, stimulates the root chakra, because I said it about a hundred times. <laughs> and it's that connection between humans and nature. And here is the best part about the main, if I really had to pick a main thing about red jasper. It's going to, it's one of those Obviously, it's one of the strongest for your root chakra, grounding and stabilizing the monkey mind. Now, if, you're, if you have this, you'll know what I'm talking about. You lay down at night, you're trying to go to sleep, your mind is just rattling off thought, 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 and it just keeps going and going and going. And eventually, maybe you fall asleep, but the monkey mind will just keep chattering. Um, maybe you have excessive emotions. Um, some people have just excessive emotions, excess thoughts. Red Jasper is great for that, for calming and stabilizing your thoughts, for stabilizing your emotions, and just calming that all down calming down the monkey mind and i guess the monkey heart is that a thing i don't know if it is but you know what i mean hey this one looks like it's smiling at me so it really does help stabilize and ground all that crazy excess energy and it will stabilize all that so it helps you I'm not saying it'll help you fall asleep. It will in a way, I guess. But it helps over time to kind of get rid of all that and, and calm it down. Not get rid of it. It's going to be there. It always is going to be there. But calm it down. If you're one of those people that has excessive thoughts, excessive emotions, um, great to cleanse your aura as well. And not necessarily cleanse, but ground. This is another one because it's so associated with the root chakra. Oh no, looks sad now. Go this way. So it will 
definitely balance and, and, and pull all that excess of energy down into the earth. It's a great earth stone to work with. Um, and another one is excessive. If some people are overly sensitive to uh, crystal energy, it will also help with that too. It kind of balances. You, it's it's going to bring you to that happy spot, that 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 perfect balance. Um, it's also referred to as the supreme nurturer um, in times of stress. So as you can see, it's all pertaining to balance. Um, it's a very protective stone. It's going to get rid of that extra emotional stress and just really help ground and stabilize you. Um, great earth stone, as I said. And another good one is this is a good stone of, if you're thinking from a physical standpoint, physical strength, physical energy, the more physical stuff instead of the emotional stuff. This is another good one. Um, I do have another favorite that would be better than this, so to speak, but especially you combine it with this one, it would be even, it would be like a double punch. Um, going through a tough workouts and uh, maybe you're hiking and you're going long distance and Anything that you kind of have to dig down and find a little extra energy, a little vitality, this is great for that too. And the other one I was referring to is vanadinite. Vanadinite is similar in the way of really digging down to help with some extra vitality. Um, but you could see between the orange and the red, this is very associated with the root chakra even part of even the sacral chakra. So it's definitely vitality and just awesome earth stone. Um, it is one of the strongest root chakra stones there is. Uh, great to balance it and great to stabilize it. So the um, final thoughts on it, which I've pretty much said everything, excellent for grounding and really balancing so definitely in need of all that pick up some red jasper it's also extremely beautiful and comes in all different types of shapes and sizes and it's kind of common you could find this pretty much all over crystal shops online wherever you're looking usually pretty inexpensive as well and great connection with nature is the is red jasper jasper and also to um i almost forgot now that i'm making these new videos i almost have to go back and stress on some of my old videos which i don't think i did is whether you need to cleanse or not cleanse because some crystals you don't need to cleanse at all they actually cleanse themselves so I'm going to start including that with each one I talk about. Red Jasper is definitely something that you want to cleanse before you work with it. And I'm going to be having a separate video on how to cleanse crystals. Um, easy way, like I just told you guys in the last one, run it under your faucet. It'll pull off anything stuck to it, uh, anything energetic, negative, anything like that. Uh, flowing stream. The natural stream is the best way, but uh, some people leave them out in the moonlight. But I'll go through all that stuff uh, more in depth in um, other videos, and I'll make one specific to cleansing and activating. So you definitely do want to cleanse red jasper um, as well. And I think that's about it. Um, and again, I'm finally back making more videos. Um, I'm going to try to be more involved, leave comments, questions. I'm going to try to get involved with everything and answer stuff. And, and if there are any questions, just ask. That's all. Um, that's about it for this one. Red Jasper. Beautiful, beautiful stone.
and that'll do it. I'll see you guys for the next video.